<laughs> this is how to expand your mind through travel. Uh, I came across this wonderful lady on uh, TED, uh, Shaman, uh, Shaman Anda. Um, I'm probably butchering that, but she is, did an absolutely fantastic TED Talk. I've got the link in the description, well, on my blog, but... Uh, basically, she talks about the dangers of a single story. Um, it, it's kind of interesting because if you're told a single story your entire life, that's the only frame of reference you have for what is true and what is not. So she's from Nigeria and was always told stories from Europe. So a lot about snow and things that she has never seen in her life. But since that was the only story she had growing up, that was what she had in her head of what books should be. So we have that in, in the United States too, right? <laughs> if, we, if we have only heard from a certain segment of society or a certain fluency group or a certain uh, leaning liberally or uh, conservatively, we tend to get those ideas reinforced and stop understanding what the other perspectives really are. Hey, Ludi. Wave. Um, so that's kind of interesting because that's why oh, travel is so know. important She's because <laughs> we'll get a little baby up here floating behind me. Um, so that's why it's so important to travel and get outside your normal bounds because if all you hear is that one story your entire life, then you have no frame of reference for making better decisions. So her TED Talk kind of goes through her story um, and just utterly amazing. And then a couple of years back, I had gone to see the Trojan Women at the Euripides Theater in Greece and to kind of witness a live performance of something that was written 2,000 plus years ago in a structure that was built 2,000 plus years ago is just not only mind boggling, but um, just almost undescribable how that feeling is because I was standing where Homer had written his stuff and performed and you think about that and it's like something that has lasted 2,000 years not only in story form but in structure form and it's really quite humbling um, and the, the you know the stories about uh, the wars and how war pretty much always ends in tragedy from both sides for the most part but overall, I mean, just such a magical experience. And the theater is built in such a way where you can actually drop a penny and hear on the other side of the theater because the way the construction was done, it's truly magnificent. And I've got a whole bunch of pictures linked in, in the description. But I hope you guys kind of understand and um, get the opportunity to travel. And if you haven't, um, and work towards it. It's, it's a goal worth having. Um, and if you need uh, advice on how to travel and stuff like that, send me a message and I would absolutely love to talk to you and help you guys travel and even travel cheaper too because there's lots of ways to travel cheap and I've got these guys now too plus another three sometimes to come with and you know, got a budget so hope you guys uh, enjoy and uh, yeah, opens up the imagination and adds to education, absolutely. One of the things that I absolutely love is learning about something and then going to that something because then you actually attach it to something real rather than just reading in a book. You can actually go and see and do what those people in history have done. Um, so it's way more, way more powerful once you actually experience it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, got the blog article linked in the description. And if you feel like learning about travel and discounts and traveling with little babies, send me a message. I'd love to talk further.